Concerns about intoxicated driving heighten over the holidays and the 4th of July weekend is no exception. This comes as police agencies across the region are seeing an increase in impaired and intoxicated drivers. One such case played out in a Wyoming courtroom earlier this week involving this man. 13 on your side's John Hogan has details on that case and concerns from law enforcement. Police say the defendant was driving south on Burlingame Avenue at more than twice the posted speed limit. He collided with the victim's car. She died two days later. Sadly, after all these decades of talking about it, we still have a major problem with people driving under the influence. Police say the at-fault driver in this case is 29-year-old Anthony Negron. The driver had the metabolites of THC. THC is the active ingredient in marijuana. Drunk driving and driving under the influence of THC remains a big problem. There is absolutely no question. Wyoming Police Captain James McGuffey says Negron was driving south on Burlingame. And we know that he was going at least 93 miles an hour just a few seconds before impact. He struck a vehicle driven by 71-year-old Noreen Young of Jenison. Now she was turning onto Porter Street. Young died two days later. But likely drag racing another car or at least uh, conducting some horseplay with another car nearby. Negron faces two felony charges, reckless driving causing death and operating while intoxicated causing death. This was a concern that we always had that we're going to start seeing more of this. Kent County Prosecutor Chris Becker says his office is prosecuting more cases involving intoxicated drivers. Intoxicants include alcohol, prescription drugs, and marijuana. Intoxicated driving prosecutions last year topped 1,000 cases. Now that's an increase of more than 15 percent from 2017. Well, we're definitely seeing more of that toxic combination of alcohol and some sort of substance, whether it be prescription drugs, illicit drugs, or so forth. Becker says states where recreational marijuana is legal, notably Colorado and Washington, have seen spikes in intoxicated drivers. They've had an increase in accidents involving controlled substances, especially marijuana, usually marijuana and alcohol, but definitely just marijuana. Michigan voters in 2018 legalized recreational use of marijuana. As the 4th of July holiday weekend gets underway, McGuffey urges people to think twice before getting behind the wheel while under the influence. There's no need for this repeated death and destruction every holiday weekend, and uh, it's preventable. If convicted, Anthony Negron faces up to 15 years in prison. In Wyoming, John Hogan, 13 on your side.